Hello out there, comic book lovers. It is Friday. So you know what that means. I'm doing my Friday night reviews. I am going to take three com three comics from the previous Wednesday. So the three, what I thought were the best, and do a review of them. And then I'm going to take the one that I liked the least. Doesn't necessarily mean that it's bad, but it's the one that I liked the least. And uh, check it out. Now let's get on to the books I liked this week. This is kind of a disappointment that it is so low on the list. Grimm's Tale of Terror, Quarterly, Game Night. The stories, you know, when it was uh, coming out once a month were just awesome. They were incredible. And these were, you know, normal sized comics. This one is larger size. Uh, paying eight ninety nine for this because it's kind of thick, and it is one story. Okay, first of all, it is uh, published by Zen Scope. Zen Scope. Uh, it is written by uh, Joe Brusha, Ralph T Tedesco, Dave Prancini, and Kevin. Oh, this is the story by Kevin Townsley, and the writer is Kevin Townsley. Okay, it's one story. Game night. Uh, you have. A little stinger at the front, you know, with, where it shows something that happened, you know, a little setup. Then it goes to a flashback. There is a kid, or an adult now, who was bullied in high school by a group of his peers. And he became a game designer made lots and lots and lots of money and what he did is he invited this group of people from school who bullied him to his place saying hey you know we're gonna i'm gonna let you test out some of these new games that i have uh And the last person to leave for the night will get a million dollars. And I'm like, <laughs> whatever. And they're inter they're you know like kind of hard to describe the way they do it, but you uh you you pull a card and it'll be something like the hooded man. What you need is a landline phone and a black cord. How to play. Use a landline to book a taxi, count to 13, then sit down before the telephone and dial the following number. Then boom, 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 and things may or may not happen. And the people are slowly getting picked off. And he says he has you know, nothing to do with it and stuff. And, of course, there's a twist at the end. It just was... This one was... It was kind of interesting. Uh, but... Uh, not really that spooky. Not 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 that weird feeling you get from reading some of the other stuff that comes out for this book. And uh, I'm hoping the next one is back up to form. I mean, now we're having to wait you know three months to get an issue of this, as opposed to getting it 
monthly. Now it's only getting quarterly, so it only comes out four times a year. And I was kind of, for the price and for the weight, I was hoping for something a little bit better. But, uh, I guess not. I'm not, obviously not giving up hope because it is a, a great series. And, uh, we'll happily pick up the next one. But this one wasn't too much. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. And, uh, I'd like to know what you guys thought. If you've read it, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Like, subscribe, and most of all, enjoy the comics.